Yes, what's good everybody? So, quick shit vid, as you can see, I'm in my bedroom. Probably the lighting's not very good, but I've not got my light on me and stuff. The microphone's not with me. I'm in the process of moving into my new studio. Uh, I left work the other day. I've, I've gone for a change, so but I'm still making music and stuff. But um, I'll be moving into my room, hopefully today at Cap. It's just getting put down this afternoon, so and then we should be back to normal in a brand new room tomorrow. Which I'll, I'll actually have the internet in, so I'll go live there and shit like that. I won't be streaming it off my phone. I can upload videos quicker, so it should be good for me. And hopefully for you if you enjoy the channel. If you don't, then why are you watching it? So, a bit pissed off. So, because I wasn't going to do a video, I'm going to wait till I got in, but it's worth talking about like immediately, really. So, with obviously with all this debacle with um, players going away for international duty and then having to isolate and stuff when they get back or when they get there and all that sort of stuff. So, a lot of the players got banned from going. So, we stopped Rafinha from going. Um, Man City stopped um, Jesus from going. Uh, Liverpool stopped Allison from going, Firmino from going, Fabinho from going, Manu stopped some players, da 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 da, da it goes on. But they're talking about making an, a, a real statement of it now. So there's still apparently that it's, it's ongoing, but we might be without Rafinha. Um, and apparently, if we're playing, we could either face a fine or have to forfeit the match 3 0. So it sort of got me thinking like, well, unless we both play them. Because, you know, if, if, if Liverpool played Alisson, Firmino and Fabinho and we played Raf, we can't both forfeit the match for 3-0 or, or can you? I don't even know. I don't even know how that works. I don't know whether you just get points deducted. I've, I've no idea. But if it's just a fine, uh, I think everybody should stand up and play. And they can't, you can't expect players to go abroad when they know they can't come back and play for the club. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, you know, they should be playing... If, if that's the case, then they should be playing the games in a mutual ground, in a... Neutral ground, mutual ground. Well, under mutual um, agreement, but yeah, like you know, so sort it so that it's not fucking the players over long term. All the clubs like, what? Who wants that? And the player don't want it. The club don't want it. The fans don't want it. It's just stupid. So yeah, but then it got me thinking. You know, if they don't play him, I love Raf obviously, and he's going to be getting it. Um, he's going to be getting at Liverpool big time. Going to have. Um, Robertson on full lockdown but would you take that would you not have Raf and not let them have Alisson, Firmino and Fabinho because it, it does change the dynamic of their team quite a bit I know they don't always start Firmino anymore but Fabinho holds don't he and he's a good player Alisson's obviously the keeper so what do you reckon to that there's talks of Dan James being an 8 as well um, number 8 so like where click players but I can't imagine that there's been a few articles on that saying that they might get him in there, but I can't imagine that. That seems crazy to me if you had, like, you know. Although, I mean, there's no reason why he couldn't play in behind, but I just can't, I can't imagine that. He seems like a real wide player to me, but, yeah. Uh, Noel Wheeler's been weighing in on Costa as well, just saying that he was really frustrated by him, which people will appreciate and like. But, um, yeah, I, I'm done with it now. I think he's left, so I'll just leave it now, you know. He's on, he's on I wish him well. Hope it, hope it does well. Uh, just leave it. Worth noting that under 20... Oh, um, England have got a game tonight, haven't they, against Poland, uh, which I'll be watching. But I, I would imagine Bamford's done now. He might come off at bench depending on how the game goes, but I don't think he's going to drop Kane off at all, really. Uh, Phillips will come back into the squad. It'll be the same squad that beat Hungary, won't it, the other day, you would imagine. And yeah, just worth noting that Drama, Lewis Bate, Greenwood and Geldart have all been playing for under, tw under 20s. Under uh, and been playing well apparently. I've not I've not watched the under twenties. I don't know whether it's behind closed doors or what, but I can't seem to find any footage. But Geldar got two goals the other day as well, which is good. Just gets you thinking, like you know, do, do you you know do you start thinking about getting them closer to the squad? I think apparently Somerville's in the in the plans this year. Like I said the other day, uh, because we have had a few we have had some interest in him. But yeah, so yeah, we're back to normal tomorrow. Um, How's everybody's day going? And I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow. Liverpool coming up Sunday. Cannot wait. 
that's my quick ship vid. If you want, if you want to support me, I've got all my links below. I really appreciate the help. It's um, it's awesome, especially being in and out of jobs at the minute. So yeah, nice one. Take it easy in a bit. Surprises why I asked no